Hello and welcome to the ninth part of the Mariska video tutorial series. In this video, we will show you how to create results webs. Result webs, graphically, represent systematically and logically linked assumptions that must occur for strategies to potentially achieve their impacts. They compromise the logical sequences of intermediate results to be achieved that, ultimately, would imply a positive impact on the target systems. All too often, planning teams propose strategies before reflecting fully on the assumptions made. As a result, scenarios are presented before the cause-effect endpoints of the strategies have been carefully considered, which can lead to a disagreement about effectiveness of proposed strategies. In the case of natural resource management, it is impossible that the impact of a strategy can be predicted with absolute accuracy because of the complex nature of ecosystems. Many elements may react in an unexpected way, or new factors and feedbacks might appear. The planning tool of result webs can help you to envision complexities of managing social ecological systems, while also accounting for unavoidable uncertainties. They also provide initial conceptual models for predicting potential changes that management strategies will bring about in a system. As such, they enable managers to identify potential blind spots and reduce avoidable risks. In some cases, the outcomes of result webs analysis may lead to the conclusion that existing or complementary strategies are unlikely to change the situation. In this case, the strategic portfolio would have to be redesigned. As the result webs are an instrument of recording the team's ideas regarding the effectiveness of their strategies, this step also prepares the way for the design of an effective monitoring system and operational plans. Some strategies can represent key or milestone strategies that need to be put in place before any further steps can be taken. The process starts by selecting a strategy from the systemic situation model and creating its results webs. Now, translate the underlying factors and causes or stress drivers likely to be influenced by the strategy into assumed outcomes, reformulating them as positive results. To do so, select a specific element and change the text. With the assumed chains of results that are predefined by the systemic relationships in the systemic situation model, the corresponding results must be presented as if-then relationships. Continue working systematically through the process to convert all underlying factors and causes, as well as stress drivers, into assumed outcomes. During the course of the activity, it is possible that other elements not thought of earlier are identified. These will need to be included in the results webs. During the construction of the if-then result webs, a decision can be made to include other strategies in the web before the final strategy portfolio is deemed to be complete. However, it is best to start the analysis with simple result chains before creating more complex webs. The next stage in the process is the formulation of goals and objectives for the result webs. During step 19, goals have already been defined for the target systems. You may now allocate additional goals. Simply click on the button Objectives. A window will open where you can enter the information in the usual manner. For a goal and objective to be effective, all associated target systems should correspond to the stress drivers and their underlying factors and causes. It is important to remember that all goals and objectives should be designed to be results-oriented, measurable, time-bound, specific and practical. To view the result webs, click on the corresponding button below the progress bar. Intermediate results are now shown as blue-gray elements, while stress driver reduction results are shown in wine-red color. Goals and objectives are displayed in the form of an oval with a blue fill. You can export the results webs as PDFs.